So um, one day, a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago, I, I went to uh, Edward and said like, why don't we do something together? I've got an idea. I actually completely see one of my Legacy 101s incorporating what makes, for me, H. Moser. First, I'm honored because I appreciate what Max is doing in MBNF. It's about this innovation, this like driving forward uh, an entire part of the industry, and I would love to, to do that. But I think because we are a brand and very, you know, working in very different segment, we could do something that goes in both directions. A reason why, you know, the legacy and the endeavor were kind of, you know, the basis, the core of, uh, of, uh, of our production on both sides, and I think that became a natural uh, decision. We've been working with H. Moser for over 10 years now. Most of our hair springs, of all of our movements, are crafted by them. I saw, of course, their fumé dials, I saw their concepts, and I've been lusting for years after their double hairspring. So that's what I proposed to Max. I said, you know, if we do a new legacy, uh, 101, why don't we use that element? I mean, it's something that made Moser famous, uh, made me fall in love with, uh, with Moser, so I, I thought it's a very uh, important element to include in that. On the Moser piece side, uh, we have the chance to use the, you know, the element that they, use, they develop for the flying tee and other uh, uh, watches after that, which gives a lot of space for the escapements. And I think it's very cool because we have the dome sapphire, very MBNF, with our very minimalistic tourbillon standing out with a cylindrical uh, hairspring, which we haven't done before. The difficulty on the H. Moser uh, by MBNF is integrating, of course, that dial, which is at an angle. We therefore brought all the, the technical knowledge because we've already done that in the Flying T and the Thunderdome. And then, of course, aesthetics is a question of taste. Um, you, you do as best as you can, at the end of the day, you want to be proud. And what was interesting is to discover all those people behind it that I knew less, but we, we, we learned to, um, to, to work together. They're a great team. So working with them was really easy. Um, we went to Schaffhausen, they came here, they sent pieces to us, we sent pieces to them, we worked on photos, we worked on Skype. It just pretty naturally evolved. And then actually we both of us saw the final prototypes in Dubai mid-January, where uh, we were exhibiting together in Dubai and we, <laughs> oh, okay, wonderful, great, okay, well maybe you should change that, oh yes, let's do that and you're going to see the product now. And I think a lot of people who love and appreciate and like MBNF might potentially love, appreciate and uh, Moser brand and vice versa. This product is very symbolic of this collaboration. I think it's probably the beginning of, of many more and I hope no, no, not only our brands but many, many others. Yeah.